Mary Magdalene lingered at the tomb, her world shattered. Jesus was gone, stolen, she thought. Her tears fell like rain on the earth that held no answers. Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? She begged a stranger for her Lord, blind to the miracle before her. Then he spoke her name. One word bro Hi everyone, my name is Lenny. Welcome back to my channel. Easter is around the corner and I've seen a lot of channels on YouTube that create monetizable AI animated Bible stories. And so I decided to create a tutorial on how to create AI animated Bible stories, which you could monetize and make a lot of money from. So stay with me to the end of this tutorial if you really want to change the game when it comes to creating AI animated Bible stories on YouTube. Let's get started. So the first step is to decide on a theme. When it comes to content creation, you want to start with a theme or you want to start with a concept. I just want to put this on Easter just because Easter is down the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into Grok. Um, and Grok is just like ChatGPT. So if you're familiar with ChatGPT, then the interface isn't any different. Um, the reason why I decided to use Grok instead of ChatGPT is that I realized I'm always teaching ChatGPT, but Grok is actually also good and cool. So I want to use Grok. Just make sure you're using Grok 3, which is the smartest version of Grok. And in terms of the prompts I'm going to use, I'm going to use a prompt that would basically generate about three short Bible stories about Easter. Um, you could do five. I just want to have some variations and decide on what story I want to go for. So I'm going to click on enter and let's see what we get. Okay, so we have three stories. So the first story is titled The Woman at the Tomb. The second story is about Jesus needs Mary. And the first story is the Apollon Surprise. And this is what I'll go with the first one. And what I want to do is that I basically want to expand on this a little bit further. So I want to expand on this, but I just want to keep it to one minute. I want to have like detailed scenes as well. Okay, so this is great. So we have our story generated for us. We have about four things in this story, which is great. Now that we have our scripts ready, the next step for us is to generate our images. And in order to generate our images, the number of tools, if you, if you use Leonardo.ai, um, the reason why I'm using Leonardo.ai is just because the free version does not really allow you to create uh, consistent characters. Uh, you need a paid version, and I don't have the paid version. I'm using Clink AI. Uh, Clink AI that's how the free version. So I'm going to be using uh, Kling AI to generate the images. And I'm also going to be using Kling AI to generate the video as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy everything in the bracket. Okay. Everything in the bracket is what I'm going to be using to generate my image. I'm going to come in Kling AI and I'm going to click on image and then I'm going to put it in here. But I really want the story to be in like 3D form. So I want it to be more of like a 3D character because I think that's fun. If you want it to be human like Benita specify. So I'm just going to save 3D cartoon character, right? I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to put a colon. That way it knows that render this in a 3D catching character for me. And I don't have any image reference right now. And in terms of the layout, I want it to be 16 by 9 because I'm going to be posting this on YouTube. Um, in terms of the output, I really just want to keep this to two also because mind you, I'm on the free version, so I don't want to misuse my credits. So I'm going to click on generate and let's see what we get. Okay, these ones are pretty cool. Um, so let's see which ones we want to go for. So um, yeah, Clint AI is really good, guys. It's actually giving me a good delight, just like with the prompt. Okay, so I'm probably gonna go with um, yeah, maybe I'll go with the first one. It's fine. Both of them are great. And then I'm gonna generate a number of different scenes. The next one in the bracket, I'm just gonna copy that. And again, I'm gonna put this in. Clean the AI as well. Uh, make sure I have the 3D cutting character starting. And in terms of reference, now we have a reference, right? And we want to create a consistent character. So I'm going to click on history. I'm going to go and select the image I preferred and enter image. Yes. And then I'm going to click on confirm. And then now I'm going to take on. So always make sure that you are selecting 16 by 9. If you're going to post it as a long video on YouTube, but not a short. So I'm going to click on generate. And okay, so you have to do the same thing for everything in bracket so that you have all the scenes you want. So I've just been able to do that for a few of them just for the purposes of this tutorial. Or do you be able to do it for everything? Then why should you do it for everything? You have an idea of how the whole 
whole video would look like. So now that we have our images sorted out, the next step is to generate our videos, okay? So let's go into Clean AI again. Instead of going to images, this time around, we're going to videos. So click on AI videos. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first scene, okay? The first scene is when Mary is basically walking in the morning to their home to see you for Jesus is alive, right? She's sad. She's crying. So that's the first scene. So the first image we generated. So I'm going to click on history and I'm going to go with the first image I selected, which I like and say confirm. So this is really where I wanted to start from. And in terms of where I want you to end, I could basically want it to end at the second scene, which is really when she gets there and trying to an empty tomb, okay? So I'm probably gonna go with this one. I want it to end on my hair. This is what I'm gonna select on the prompts and then I'm gonna put it in here. And I just wanna select five uh, seconds. And in terms of the output, um okay so i'm going to use the professional mode i only want one output and in terms of the creativity i want it to be very relevant and then this is going to take about 35 credits so we still have some more to go but this would take a while uh so we really want to do it for all the various scenes we have first scene has been generated for us and then we can just move on to the next scene. So the next scene is when Jesus is head being so sad until he talks to her, asks her why she is crying. I'm going to select the prompt you want to use. Come back into Clean Day Eye. I'm going to click on frames because I want to click on where I wanted to start from. So in terms of where I wanted to start from, I wanted to start from she's praying. So I wanted to start from here. And then I'm going to click on history. and. I wanted to start from where she's praying, okay? In terms of where I wanted to end, I wanted to end at where Jesus comes in and talks to her. Do we have all we need? In terms of what I want to put in the prompt, I'm just going to paste what I copied from Grogsery. And um, output, I want it to be, one output is going to take 35 credits. So we still have some more credits to go. And this is going to generate about three scenes and then we can move on. One thing I've noticed about Clean AI is that if you include a start and an end frame, then it would take a longer time to generate the videos. But if you just have, let's say, a start frame, then it's going to take less of time. So just keep that in mind while working on your projects. So our last video has been generated. This is what we got. So our next step is to go into 11 laps and generate the audio. But this particular AI and needed Bible story. So I'm going to go into 11 laps. And then when you come into 11 laps, as you can see, there are a number of different things you can do in 11 laps. So there's text to speech for a stranger sound effect. I'm going to go into text to speech. I'm going to come here and copy all the narrator's portion. The narrator's portion is what's more in the brackets. So I'm going to select it. And I post it here. We have the scripts here. Everyone that translates into speech. Um, in terms of voice, you could really select the voice and how you want it to sound, whether you want it to be conversational, you want it to read like a news anchor, whatever accent you want, you can use. You could also upload your own voice as well on the paid version for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm probably going to use a mill. So I'm going to go with, Ayo, oh, he's American, and I'm going to take on Janine's speech. Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene lingered at the tomb, her world shattered. Jesus was gone, stolen, she thought. Her tears fell like rain on the earth that held no answers. Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? She begged a stranger for her Lord, blind to the miracle before her. Then he spoke her name. One word broke her darkness. It was him, risen, real. Her grief became glory in an instant. So this is about 43 seconds, which should be fine. I think it's more than enough um, than what we need. So I'm going to download this. Um, notes that I'm on the free version of 11 Labs as well. So now that we have our images, we have our video generated, we have our audio generated, the next step for us is to go into CubCart. Click on Create Project. And at this point, I'm going to draw all the videos that have been generated in here. So we generated about three videos in, in total. The way I'm going to do is we're going to drag them in here. And then the next step is for us to also drag 
our audio. Okay, so we have our audio in here and then I'm gonna include some transitions as well. I'm gonna click on transitions and I'm gonna select fade. I'm gonna put it in here. Gonna do thing for the Alice. Next step is to generate captions. So I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna click on generate captions. No, see, so the captions have been generated. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make the captions look a little more fancy. So I'm going to click on templates in here and I'm going to select another kind of text that looks a little more fancy. So we have our captions created for us. We have our videos aligned. We have our audio as well matching our video. And the last step of this is to add some music. Okay, we want to add some music to this particular animated Bible story. But oh, we had Easter vibes here, so I'm gonna drag this in here. Um, just make sure that when you drag the audio, you have gonna reduce the volume so that you can actually hear what's happening in the narrator's voice. I think we are good now. Um, I'm gonna play the final output so you see. Mary Magdalene lingered at the tomb, her world shattered. Jesus was gone, stolen, she thought. Her tears fell like rain on the earth that held no answers. Woman, why are you crying? That is how our final video looks like. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if there's anything you'd want to have a tutorial about, or if there's any video you'd want me to do, uh, leave them in the comment section below and I'll gladly do a tutorial on that. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel or if you haven't watched my other videos, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also watch my other videos as well. But for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Crying. Who are you looking for? She begged a stranger for her Lord, blind to the miracle before her. Then he spoke her name. One word.